Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey. In this video, I'm reviewing the Torch. This very interestingly designed grip for your hockey stick. It's uh, plastic here, and this is like a, it's kind of like a hard rubber. It's got a nice feel to it. Maybe like a, a really durable doggy chew toy. So this thing is being installed in the all black hockey stick. I just feel it needs a little bit of color. But first, let's talk about the weight, the price, and how to install it. This bright green torch currently sells for $19.99, but it looks like it's a clearance. They're trying to get rid of all the green ones, and they're coming out with a black color. So the black ones may be more. Shipping, $5 US. So right now, $24.99 will get this to your door. The torch grip weighs in at 110 grams, which is the heaviest of all the grips that I've reviewed. The torch requires the most amount of work to install because you need a hacksaw to cut your stick. You also need a heat gun or a blow dryer to install it. Thanks to my wife for that one. And you need some glue sticks and hot glue gun. There are many styles to choose from, but this is the prettiest. Let's get this installed. To install a grip, they do recommend a certain amount of inches you cut off, but I'm just gonna go by feel. So wherever my pinky is right there on the grip and wherever my pinky would be on that stick, I'm gonna kind of hold it up to there and then find out where that edge is and just mark it right there. That'll get it close enough. Now I'll just hand my stick to the equipment manager and he can go cut. Well, I guess I'll just go cut that myself then. I'm back and with a shorter stick. Now I'm just curious to see how this is gonna fit in here. That's gonna be a pretty snug fit. I could probably just jam it in there and it'd work fine, but I'll put the glue on anyways. Let's go. Before you install the torch, you wanna to make sure you install it the right way. So there's a top and a bottom. This longer slope is the top and this little tight groove at the bottom is the bottom. So your palm is gonna go on top of that and your pinky wraps around. All right, let's go get that glue gun. Good news, everybody. Arts and crafts time has been extended by four hours today. So it says to apply a generous amount of hot glue. Now this is probably going to harden and that's what the heat gun or the blow dryer is for. So I'm not using a, uh, I'm not using a heat gun, so this may take a while. One eternity later. Oh. All right, that feels pretty funky. I just wanna rip some shots right now, but you gotta let it sit overnight. So uh, stay tuned. thoughts on the torch besides its interesting design and interesting color I like the performance of it some of the other grips might give you a bit of a boost in performance because you have a nice lock on that stick for shooting stick handling you're not gonna have these sticks sliding but for this one the ergonomical shape really helps you control that and I think it would have the biggest benefit for defensemen I noticed with one-handed use of the stick I had really good control I could flip it poke it pull it uh, just move it all around and it felt like I was wielding a sword or something like that. I'd say that for defensemen who do a lot of one-handed poke checks, sweep checks, stuff like that, try it out and you might like it. As for the color, not a fan of the green, but they are coming out with black, so that is a plus. One thing that I did notice is that it did seem like for shots, even though it has this, this big knob on the end, sometimes it seemed like it twisted a little bit. I don't know if that's just because I had to adjust the shape of it. Um, but it did recommend to tape it after I install it from there down and I didn't tape it. So it may just be because there is no grip on this part of the stick right there and I'm gripping with my bottom two fingers or something like that. But I did notice that. Maybe it was just me. Let me know in the comments section if you've used the, the torch and you've had that issue. One other issue that some players might have with the torch are the players that like to do the pinky on top. So if you hold in your hand and have the knob going out the back like that, that's fine because that's what it's designed for. You get that really ergonomical fit to your hand. Pinky on top, it doesn't feel exactly the same, so you won't get that same benefit from it. As far as comfort, it felt really nice in the hand. For performance, it took me you know, a little bit to adjust, but not very long, and I did notice the immediate benefits to the poke checks, sweep checks, and one-handed use of the stick. Now, something that I noticed when I weighed it is at 110 grams, it's a lot heavier than all the other grips, but I didn't really feel it on the ice. And I think that might be because it's held in the hand, so there's a little bit of extra weight in the hand, but it doesn't make the stick feel that much heavier, if that makes sense. And I think that for shooting, it almost adds like a counterweight to your shot. 
I don't know if that makes sense on a physics sort of platform, having a little weight at the top of your stick makes the bottom blade go faster or something like that. But I would recommend installing it on a light stick. If you have a heavy stick already and then you put this on there, maybe you would notice that extra weight. If you did use the torch on a heavier stick or you do use it and you just want to talk about the performance, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear it as would the other people watching this review. That way it's just not my opinion. You can learn from everybody. Overall, I'd say the torch is definitely worth trying. If you are just buying it to try it out, put it in an old stick because remember, you have to cut it down first. And if you put it in a brand new stick and then you don't like it, yikes. So if you want to try it, I'll put a link in the video description. Uh, they're clearing out all the green ones and get a sale on them. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button because I do new hockey videos every single week. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.